Hey guys, it's Ash, and today we're gonna be playing Edgar every game in the Masters League, guys. Guys, Edgar gets a bad rep a lot, mainly because of bad randoms. They play Edgar so bad. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to play Edgar anywhere, any map, and we're gonna win. So let's do it. Let's see, we have first pick. Unfortunately, man, Edgar as last pick is the best. That's when you wanna pick him, but if you want to pick them earlier than that, then you gotta ban those powerful counters. Cordelius, Charlie, Leon, all of these brawlers are really strong. Spike even. Um, we're gonna go with the Cordelius ban. And let's see what our teammates ban here. I don't like the Sprout ban because obviously <laughs> you can counter him easily with the Edgar. And then uh, you want to go with brawlers that are really good into Edgar or good into his counters. Like uh, a brawler that would be good into, say, like a Spike. Um, Leon, not so much, but it looks like he doesn't really have many options in his team. He has very few level 11 brawlers. Uh, so I guess he'll go with the Leon. All right, it's fine. And then if we go with Edgar for our last pick, if you're going, if you're going to go with Leon and Edgar, you need a heavy hitter. Um, and something that's good into spawners and tank counters such as Spike and Crow, right? So something that's good into a Spike and Crow. Um, I'm going to recommend, let's see, what am I going to recommend Jen here to go? Something that's good into a Spike or a Crow. Mm, but they're going to go Larry, which is great for me because I'm obviously going to go Edgar. And that's going to be an excellent counter to any thrower. So that's always going to be great. And looking at Jen's picks here. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go. Amber would be really good. Amber would be really good into a spike. Pretty good into crow and great into any tanky matchup. They're going to go with the Lou, which is a good pick on their part. Um, but I feel like we got this now, especially with the matchup against the Larry, hard landing, let's fly. Yeah, this is definitely the build you want to go with here. So we're going to go with that. And my objective, whenever you're playing Edgar, guys, focus on objective. What's your objective, right? That's, all, oh, that's what you want to ask yourself every single time. My objective is I'm going to bully that... Larry as many times as I can. If I can eliminate the Larry, it's going to make things easier for my teammates. It's going to give them a 3v2. So like right here, as you can see, quickly take out the Larry. And I know the Maisie's got the dash gadget. And if I can you make her use as many of them as, you know, I can, that's just going to mean it's going to get easier and easier later on when she's out of those gadgets. Right now, I'll just take my time, get closer. And again, objective, objective. I can go for the Lou, but he's not my main objective. Main objective is going to be the Larry. If the Lou is there... I'll take him out too. Nice. We got a double kill. And Larry's not going to be able to get us. As long as we're retreating like that. And we're getting really close to our hypercharge as well. Now, I can't use my gadget, but I don't need to. Really close to get my super. And again, just take advantage of the Larry. Just like that. And again, take my time. And then again, focus on objective. Heal back and go after the Larry over and over and over again. So this time I'm going to use that. So I can do that. Constantly get my hypercharges. Oh my goodness. Edgar is insane. Larry like that. He's even spinning. Edgar can be really insane in these types of matchups, guys. It's all about picking your matchup. It's all about playing your objective. The monster. Nice. All right. That should be some pretty good stats with Edgar. We dominated, oh my goodness, 14 kills to zero with the Edgar. Take a screenshot of that. All right, so we have big game in safe zone. Now, Edgar is a really good brawler in big game if you can get your hands on him. Look at that, my last <laughs> teammate there. His name is Edgar, but we're going to try to grab the Edgar. Now, whenever you are looking to pick Edgar, you want to ban certain brawlers for Big game that are really good into Edgar, such as uh, Charlie again, Cordelius. Those are your top bands. But we're going to have to ban Collect because they have first pick. Not only because she's like the best brawler in this map, but also in big game. You have to. You must ban Collect. 
Uh, let's see, my teammate, is he going to go with the cult? It's not a bad idea, especially if that's one of your few high-level brawlers. So we'll let him go cult, and I'm going to go Edgar. And then my last uh, teammate here, he's going to have to go either a tank or a high HP brawler. Uh, let's see what we can recommend. And he's thinking about Primo. Primo's fine, he's a good brawler in, in uh, heist. He's all thinking... Buzz, yeah, Buzz or Primo are fine. Now, obviously, they went Cordelius. Now, my main interaction is going to be to go after the Angelo, even though he's got a jump gadget, and uh, the 8-bit primarily. Pri the 8-bit is going to be such an easy win for me. Go with Fisty Cups always if you're playing big game with the high HP uh, Edgar, and then go Let's Fly, and then go with the plus one gadget char. You're going to get your supers very quickly. You don't want to ever stay around in the map. You don't want to stand around without your super. So it's going to be important. Damage gear you could also go with, but you're not going to be in low health most of the time in a big game modifier. Looks like he's going to go with the buzz instead. Okay, it's fine. We still got 9,600 HP, which is definitely a lot uh, for Edgar to win most of these matchups. Main concern is obviously going to be the Cortez. Even that half health right here, I'm going to be able to take out this um, 8 bit, and I'm just going to go after their safe that's going to create a distraction as you can see they're going for a 2v1 against here uh if i can create this distraction and just stay alive as long as i can here i can even take him out even at this health i believe yeah as you can see nice am i gonna force him to i'm gonna force him to use his super i probably should have saved my super there but again i'm just gonna keep distracting as much as i can the more distraction i get with edgar the better cordillas is getting really close to his super again it's gonna force him to jump I can use my gadget here, but I'm getting really close to my super either way. And I know uh, I shouldn't have used my um, hypercharge there because the Cordelius was there. But it's, it's fine. With the Fisty Cups, as you can see, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Again, I'm not going to go for the safe just yet. I'm going to play it safe. We have a substantial lead. Just play it safe with the Edgar. Stay alive for a bit. Pop my gadget. Get close to my super. I know the Cordelius wants to come after me, but I'm going to go after his 8-bit. His teammate. Unfortunately, got taken out right there by getting really close to my hypercharge once again. Halfway there, I'm going to do some body block here. Pop my gadget, get close to my super. I don't want to go after the Cordelius. Unless if he's like really near me, then I can. Right here, I'm going to go for the Angelo. Nice. We did take out the Angelo at least. I know the Cordelius is definitely going to take me out, but we're just not going to focus much our attention on him. Instead, I'm going to see if I can sneak anyone else. He's got the damage boost um, from the booster, so I can't really safely jump him right now. I can jump him there. Ugh, okay, we got the equalize, which is good enough. It's getting close. I got my hypercharge, and I'm really close to my super, so that's a really good note there. Now I guess the Angelo, I'm going to just need to do my best dodging some shots here that's all i gotta do he placed his uh booster really far up so don't have to worry much about that and i'm just gonna think about playing it smart here so what i'm thinking about doing here is hypercharge i'm gonna jump away he's gonna put me in the shadow realm but guess what that forces him to do now that forces him to come after me and i'm also right near his safe so i can also finish it but my teammates are there to finish it off nice well played by us let's do that again to finish this off in the masters all right what a clutch one percent nice all right so knockout this is actually a pretty decent map for edgar probably his best knockout map as well so good into throwers uh as edgar's one of the best thrower counters and throwers are very co uh, common on this map the other team has first pick meaning we have last pick so you want to go rid of common thrower the common brawlers that are good counters to larry on this did i say larry to edgar on this map so we're gonna get rid of the leon they're gonna go to angelo excellent pick on their part uh, let's see what I can recommend from my teammates here. You want to go bulky brawlers, high health. So Pearl is good. Let's see if they have Meg, level 9 Meg. I'm going to recommend the Pearl here. You want to go with high health, the brawlers. Uh, Piper is going to get one-shotted by an Angelo. You don't really want to go Piper. I'm going to recommend a brawler such as Bonnie maybe. But... Okay, he's going to go with the Bonnie. I don't like the Spike pick. Spike is just not a great brawler on this map, guys. I don't know why people pick Spike here. Guys, the problem with Spike is he's so weak to snipers. He gets super, he gets two-shotted easily, and he's super weak to throwers such as Sprout. So we're going to go with the Edgar, of course, into the Sprout, which is going to be excellent. I'm going to go with the Shield here. I don't really need the damage output into their comp. Uh, more so, the Shield is going to be really 
really good for me. I'll go with the hard landing, let's fly gadget for sure. And actually I'm thinking about going with hardcore. It's gonna be sneaky good. We're gonna go with the hardcore gadget plus the super gear. So we get our super pretty quickly. I need to do that one more time to win this. Same strategy, focus on your matchup, focus on the Sprout. Both of the Angelo and Brock players have their gadgets for escape. Okay, so it looks like Brock wants my lane. I don't know why the Bonnie gave up her lane so quickly and just got destroyed. Alright. The good thing is though, I'm getting really close to my super, so... That's the bright side here. If I can dodge some shots, get close, can get my super right there. We're going to take out the sprout and then again, take my time here, dodge some shots. All right. Dodge some shots. I was going to force them to jump away. Dodge some more. <laughs> This is fun. Use my shield. Oh, almost. We had it right there. Okay, we'll give it to them for that one. But look at that. I got, already got my hypercharge by playing patiently. Nice. Now, I don't know if this sprout notices. I got my hypercharge for him here. Against the Brock. If he uses the super, I can jump on him because he's not going to be able to um, gadget safely. You gotta be careful against the Angelo, it's gonna deal a mess. Okay, nice. Managed to make him jump. And then that's gonna make the Brock jump, and that's gonna be a win. Nice. Again, take our time, get close to our super. Use my presence, because the Sprout doesn't know how close I am to my super. Although the Sprout is still playing it very riskily. He should be near his teammates for protection. Because I'm getting pretty close to my super here. Okay, Sprout's got his super. He can use it for protection, so I gotta be careful here. And he also has his hypercharge for damage. So right now, I'm hoping my Bonnie's okay. Nope, unfortunate. Angela's charged up, so I gotta wait for him to shoot, and then I can jump in like that. Let's see if I can make him jump. Oh, hypercharge to escape. Hypercharge, let's go. It's a 1v2. I mean, 2v2. It's pretty good. Nice. Dodge some shots. In and out. Make Angelo shoot his charge shot. Like that. Make Brock shoot. I'm going to go down, unfortunately. Come on, Sparta. Come on, Spike. You got this. No. He's missing. He's hitting. He's hypercharging. Oh, you couldn't get the last shot. Very unfortunate. We did really well, though. Made it spicy. But my teammates, kind of, especially Sparta, he wasn't having a good day there. But that's what I mean. Why would you pick Spike? First pick in knockout, Bells Rock 2. All right, goalkeeper's dream with quickfire. Nice. Quickfire is very fun with Cordelius. We have first pick, unfortunately. Giving them the last pick. Now, last pick, bro, is quickfire is just so strong. If you don't pick, if you don't pick Leon, you got to ban him. Um, so I'm gonna ban Cordelius, but let my teammate know, hey, Leon's available, and he's gonna ban the Leon. Although Leon first pick would've been great, the other team's gonna ban Leon regardless. Take the Gale, though. Gale is such a strong con. Oh my goodness, he's gonna take Bell in quick fire. Not a very good pick, especially considering Nani's open, Angelo's open. Why would you pick Bell? You're not gonna get much of a benefit from her. Um, I'm going to recommend a Gale here for Mateo. Gale would be really good with quick fire. Even on this map, it's open. But if you can take the lane with Gale, you can just constantly spam that shot in the freezing snow. Um, star power as well. It's just going to dominate. So definitely take the Gale. I'm going to go with that. Okay. All right, unfortunately, they're not going to take the Gale. <laughs> we're going to need to go Edgar anyways. And they're most likely going to take Gale and they're not. What is going on? I don't know. But I'll take it. 
Uh, that's a kill. We're going to punish them for that. Uh, for our gears, the supercharge is going to be good. The damage gear is going to be good. Everything is good. And I can beat most of these brawls except the nanny. You don't want to target the nanny. She does so much damage up close. And then with our super, she can knock you back as well. But the other two brawlers, I can comfortably take down. Alright, and I know Nani's on the left side, but Nani's going to play the mid most likely. No, she's going to play the lane. That's fine with me. I'm just not going to go after her. I'm just going to do this, go after the Meg. She's got the knockback star power. Okay, now I know. <laughs> Alright. That knockback star power is just so useful in that regard. Okay, Nani's got super. No, Pearl's got super, so I can't really jump on her. Comfortably here. Now I can. She just used it. So now is my opportunity to do so. I did take her out. And I'm getting really close to my hypercharge on a positive note here. Yeah, getting pretty close. This time I'm not going to use my gadget. Going to hold on to it for later. I know Pearl wants to use her super if I jump on her. So I got to be careful. Again, patience. No rush. We got the super. I'm going to jump in right there, take her out, and there we go. And I think we got our hypercharge as well, and I'm getting pretty close to getting my super back, yeah. So again, not going to use my gadget just yet. Now it's going to most likely want to teleport, but no, she's just going to use the damage, okay. Getting really close to my hypercharge, that's what I'm waiting for here. There we go, she's going to use the return to the center, it's not going to be enough. Bell should definitely win this, because it's, it's a meg without her mecha form. There we go. Nicely done. The other team made a big mistake, guys. Why would you not pick Gale? Do it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see me do this with another brawler. Maybe like Mortis only in Masters. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys until next time. Take care, everyone.